The Caritas Process, number one, cultivating the practice of loving kindness and equanimity towards self and others. Caritas process is essential in providing a deeper relationship with patients. Caritas process is one who is working from a human to human connection, working from an open and intelligent heart center rather than ego center. And the core principles and practices of the Caritas process, according to Watson, involve practice of loving kindness and equanimity, um, authentic presence, enabling a deep belief of other, cultivation of one's own spiritual practice beyond ego, being the caring, healing environment, allowing for miracles. I'm drawn to this first carriage process, um, being that I can accomplish this process and then I can make the difference in those lives that I come in contact with. The carriage process speaks to the one who's providing care, it allows us to examine our hearts and develop a deeper experience in our own being, involving, evolving oneself to be present and in the moment. The Caritas process has given me the tools to examine myself in the moment and the tools to use it in my practice and for a lifetime. I oftentimes wondered, what am I doing in my nursing career? I had pretty much conquered all the technical skills that I needed to be an RN but I felt empty. Wasn't there more to the field of nursing besides just bedside nursing and doing all these technical components? Um, had I not structured myself and argued enough with myself about returning to further my education, I would still be in the rut of being capable just to do my te job technically. But I was seeking growth. So I believe I have grown within myself in the short time on my road to expanding my education in nursing. Um, we get so busy in life, not just with nursing, but with just everyday living. And it can be pretty frustrating being a nurse at times. You get worn out and tired, um, just tired of doing. But the Caritas process has helped me also in my personal relationships in adjusting my way of thinking to strive to educate myself on what is totally important in my life. Um, be more centered, be more in the moment, um, and being that loving, kind person. Um, Caritas process one is cultivating the practice of loving kindness and equanimity towards self and others. This is the one I chose. Um, this process speaks volumes to me. It came at a time that I was desperate for change and understanding in my life. Frustrated with my job, um, some changes going on there. But um, for having an understanding of the first process, it would be difficult to manage one's self, life, and nursing career. So it's really been a great tool for me. This process has challenged me into practice and striving to improve myself such as understanding myself and watching my behaviors when something arises that I may only have one understanding of it. Um, this process, first process has given me a voice to stand strong by processing and cultivating my inner self into a more loving and kind person. The Caritas process one of cultivating the practice of loving, kindness, and equanimity the clinical examples of contributing support I've offered have been, to name a couple, just sitting with a dying patient when there's no family members there to provide comfort, or making sure that someone is there with them, um, whether it's holding their hand, making them comfortable, or just listening to the life stories if they're able to talk at that time. Another example that really stood out to me was um, I was sitting one day with a lady who had overdosed and the safety companion had gone on a break and she was so filled with guilt um, on top of being homeless. She was so kind. Um, I just tried to imagine myself in her shoes. It was a great feeling knowing that she felt comfortable enough with me to share her burdens and hardships. In return, I believe I gave her of myself I gave of myself to her loving kindness and equanimity without being judgmental. My understanding of the caring science. 
So my understanding of the caring science is that if more people in this world could look through the magnifying glass of this process, we would have a much more peaceful environment. Um, the caring process, according caring science, according to Watson, it makes more explicit that unity and connectedness exist among all those things in the great circle of life, such as change, illness, suffering, death, and rebirth. Caring starts with self, then family, and so forth. Promoting self-caring first in all aspects of life will ultimately build a foundation on how life as it should be. One of my favorite basic assumptions of the caring science is effective caring promotes health, healing, individual and family growth, and a sense of wholeness, forgiveness, evolved consciousness, and inner peace that traumas, life challenges, changes, and so on. This is according to Watson in 2008 on page 17. So I have really enjoyed um, this Caritas process, um, Caring Science. It has just been so enlightening to me. I am so appreciative of starting this course. Thank you. I finally did it. <laughs>